Last night, we had Jake Paul and Anderson Silva. It was a big fight and arguably one of the best fight in 2022. But it's actually much bigger and more impactful than you think. A year ago, Dana White, the CEO of UFC, said this. Anderson Silva might actually be the goat of combat sports. I fucking guarantee you this. You ain't going to see Jake Paul calling Anderson Silva out. That I fucking promise you. And last night, the unthinkable happened. Anderson Silva, the greatest UFC fighter of all time, lost to Jake Paul, who was a former YouTuber, but he turned professional box. But in doing so, Jake Paul may seriously affect the profit margin of the UFC moving forward and forever be changing the fighting industry. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to break down how this unique path that Jake Paul is taking to greatness could actually make him be one of the greatest sport entrepreneurs of our time. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? This is JC, and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. This is where I create content that talks about anything to do with business and investing. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down Jake's Paul business and latest investments in the fighting industry. But first, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like that. So for those who don't know, Jake Paul is one of the biggest YouTubers online but he's also one of the original founders of the YouTube boxing industry. This is where influencers fight other influencers. Now, you may think this is not necessarily entertaining, but it's actually very entertaining. But it's bringing massive eyeballs to the boxing world, which was dying prior to that, and also more eyeballs for revenue, pay-per-views, and ratings. But after taking a liking on boxing, Jake Paul started to take it seriously and started training to turn to be a professional boxer. So what you guys may not know is when you are a YouTuber, you accidentally develop marketing skills. And I can argue that marketing is one of the biggest thing in business. And these marketing skills are helping Jake's Pulse to make millions of dollars. For example, check this out. Jake and his brother reportedly made a combined 63 million in 2021, 40 million earned from boxing. So how he made all this money is because just like Floyd Mayweather, he started his own promotion business on the side. This is where he said that he creates the most valuable events, fight and fighters. Pretty clever. MVP, sports, right? But unlike Floyd Mayweather, his approach is pretty unique. The way that he selects his opponent is pretty clever. For example, he challenged a very athletic NBA player and this happened. He's trying to get he challenged an old and washed up UFC fighter. This happened. And Askin has been hit by some MMA folks Shit. and not gone down. And when someone was saying, why don't you select a real fighter? He challenged one of the old UFC champion, but this also happened. Just oh. Oh. You see guys, the big fighters like Floyd or even Tyson don't necessarily make a lot of money on the first five to 10 fights. That's just how the business goes. Now, Jake Paul is demonstrating that you can rack up millions in your first five fights. Last night was his sixth fight and he actually won. And this is where it's getting interesting. Not only that he's destroying old superstars, making millions in a process, but he also called out Dana White, the CEO of UFC, and shining a light on the bad business practices that this company is doing. Check this out, guys. The UFC is a billion dollar a year business. However, the fighter's minimum salary is $12,000. These fighters are risking their life, their health, and could possibly be permanently damaged for life for a minimum of $12,000 per fight. Now, of course, some fighters make more, but not anywhere comparable to boxing. But Jake Paul didn't only stop there. He's really pushing the narrative, making Dana White looking like a bad guy. Underpaid fights, where the healthcare rights got them risking all their lives and they can't quit. As an entertainer, a YouTuber, and also a troll, he even made a diss track on Dana White. Dana, it's a lot I know you keep inside. You be on my like you don't got a wife and kids. Go put your focus on them hookers that you try to hide. Dana White. Hate Jake Paul because he's exposing his dirty secrets, shining a light on the bad business deals. And in a time where we have high inflation and the gap between the rich and poor is getting wider, you definitely don't want that narrative to stick on you. So Jake Paul accepted the fight, but he also did something very unusual that will forever change the industry. He literally betted himself and Silva in a win-win scenario for both of them, but he arranged it in a way that if he wins, he will forever be changing the fighting industry. And this happened. No, if you win, if you win, I will fight you in an MMA fight. Oh, shit. 
Whoa! Wow. <laughs> You're so smart because I don't fight MMA anymore. You're so smart. <laughs> Kickboxing. So smart. I got you. Kickboxing. Okay. Kickboxing. All right. Kickboxing. Kickboxing. But if I win, me and you come together to create a United Fighters Association to help UFC fighters get better pay and better health care. You become the interim president, and we unite to help these fighters once and for all. Deal. 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 Wow. Yeah. Let's go. Deal. 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 Now, guess what, guys? Last night, this happened. After a hard-fought Raw, he won, and according to the deal, they're actually going to be working together to establish the United Fighters Association. This will help fighters get better deals and better healthcare, and he's at the control of all that. He created a unique path for himself and rising at the top of greatness very fast. He's getting more influence in the field, more eyeball, so more pay-per-view, more controversy, more income. Just absolutely genius. Last year, Jake Paul was one of my list of the best entrepreneur of the year, but this year he really surpassed himself. With this move, he's not only engineering his own wealth, but he's also creating a new path for other fighters to wealth and also to maintain their health. Health is wealth, guys. Last night, one of the greatest fighters of all time, Silva, passed the torch to Jake Paul. The story of Jake Paul is still being written, but no one have ever seen a pat like that before, and it's just amazing to watch. Silva and Jake Paul both made tons of money last night, and with this new deal, United Fighters Association, the UFC is in trouble, guys. The fighters are going to tank twice before signing long-term deals with the UFC. The UFC really have to think twice about their business model and make it appealing for fighters to stick with them, especially when they see Jake Paul is making other UFC fighters making tons of millions in one fight, something that they don't make their entire career. Hope that inspired you to engineer your own unique path to wealth. With that said, we'll talk on the next video. Hey, yeah, it's all about wealth engineering. engineering. Might be something that you're not used to. It's okay, cause I'm here to introduce you to concepts. Time to grow and make big moves. All about crypto, come see. Stocks and business, yes indeed. Got the info that you need. Hosted by my homie JC. Hey, yeah, wealth engineering, wealth engineering. Stacking and stacking it up. It's time to generate wealth. Till you living like Scrooge McDuck. Hey, wealth engineering, wealth engineering. It's time to show you the game till you living like richie rich till you balling like bruce wayne hey you ain't gotta be an expert no problem it don't really matter where you at just start it it'll take time hard work and all this but we bring the info that you want it stocks real estate crypto let's work generational wealth increase net worth like a kid on a bike take the training wheels off right now is your time make it happen like a ball